Hello and welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show. Today we are going to be featuring another review and if you like this video make sure you go ahead and hit the bell thing right on the bottom. Oh yeah. You want some glasses? Yeah. This is coming from directly from Adidas. What we have here is the Ultra Boost running shoes. Let's go ahead and check them out. And nothing beats the fresh smell. Some amazing sneaker. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know. I need to the first time I see shoes just come in a little bit ooh, off shaped when I get them. I don't know. That does how. First time I'm reviewing Adidas, so I didn't really know what to expect from those. Not bad. You know what? I I just need like a microscope sometimes to inspect those those things here. Uh, well, I'm thinking about. I get kind of fans of those things. So w what do we have here? We have pretty big platforms. Nice for kicks. This is just weird. Uh, on the bottoms, th this is just interesting by the way. The, way. Um, the bottom themselves are created with this material, which is really nice, but Two things I have with those shoes. One, this is actually like, like, like magenta orange, and right here is the 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 beef I'm having with those things. What it actually is, it goes right through it, right through the shoe. You you can see the membrane right inside, which is poly, like polyester type of white stuff in here. This is not good. I'm not sure this is gonna last for a pretty long time. I really wish they would close up all those white things. Uh, maybe it's like for to make it look good, but this is not gonna last. So that's not good. I don't like that. And material on the top is very very soft. I think this is just um, very similar to the Ultra Boost from Nike. This is just like uh, the Adidas way of saying this is our version of Ultra Boost, but I'm not really digging this as much as the Adidas. Haha, <laughs> that is the Adidas. I'm not digging this as much as a Nike. There is just something like, like something missing in here. Like, like I, I did like the way they look in the picture, but then when you get those. I don't know what I'm not digging here. I'm not sure exactly. It is like a little bit sticky out here. So let's go ahead and get this up close and personal so you can see some details. So putting them right here, you can see this. This is like, this is awesome by the way. This is something I like. I mean, the texture of the material here is pretty cool. Another thing is it does have a pretty big platform. This is like around like almost two inches right here and an inch right there and this is like half an inch here so it does give you a lot of boost if you're going to be running so that's no wonder it's called the alpha boost here one thing i didn't actually check here is how they actually feel when you get these things out of here or can you get them out that is the big question it is orange inside and I think it's like tough work for you trying to get this thing out of here. This is not gonna happen. This is this is built right into the shoe. No, I got it. I got it. Get it out. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is probably better than the shoe itself. Oh yeah, this feels good. I'm getting hot in this jacket. I want to talk about what I really absorb from those shoes. That they're like weird it is just like one of those weird shoes that 
it is kind of hard for you to figure out what is this? What is this thing supposed to actually be? I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not digging this style as much. Also, oh, if you're running, this probably is good, but this is just way too soft for, for my comfort. If, uh, I mean, I would be careful. Don't don't run in the woods with those things. Don't run on a trail because you can get your your foot like, seriously hot over here. It does have a little bit of traction over there, but that doesn't help it if something just you know slams it right on the top. So, uh, but bottom for that, like, eh. I think that this is like sticking in your face kind of style, but now it is our turn to examine this up close and personal. Let's get started with that. Ooh, yeah, here it is. I wanted to get you up close and personal so you can see those shoes and figure out by yourself if you should actually get them. So you can see right here how soft the actual texture of the material is when you're pressing on this. And it's not really that interesting. I really, I like those shoes and in some ways I don't. It's very hard to season on those things. Right here on the bottom you can see the tracks. This is like a tire track. This is actually one of my favorite about those shoes is how beefy this thing actually is over here. Also, when you're inspecting how well this shoe actually is made, I don't see any glue marks on this. By the way, this is not made in China. It is made in Vietnam. In case that makes any difference to you. Right here, the Adidas sign, that actually looks a lot cooler in the picture than it is in real life. I actually don't really like this as much as I thought I initially would. I think that if this was a different kind of a neutral call, maybe it would have looked much more better. And the only reason they put this is to have the Adidas logo show up over here. Other than that, I do dig the colors of it by being green with black and the tire track on the bottom. Now let me show you right here what I mean here. And you can see this is actually going right through this all the way inside and in here this is actually the bottoms of the shoes so it's like viewing or into the inside of the actual shoe which is cool but at the same exact time it's really gonna destroy this eventually so that's not a good thing here so overall those are very nice and pretty looking shoes and if you want to get those for style and for running it's really hard to decide if this is a good idea but let's go ahead and put this on feet and check them out so time for us to do the on feet test actually the thing is when you put them on the feet it is different than looking at the shoes I actually am surprised at how comfy they actually feel. I wasn't really expecting them to feel this comfortable. In fact, they're too comfortable. They feel like uh, slippers, pretty much. This is like a house version of a slipper. Now, it is actually made for running. So let's do the false test, which is, does it make sound when you're just walking? Again, style and shoes actually do that. And good thing is they don't. They don't really make any sound. So that's good. There's a lot of traction here, really a lot. So that is good. That's a good thing. Now, they also, the bottoms are pretty good and steady, so you're not going to accidentally trip. What I don't like about those is your feet right here, you just, they stick out. It is very easy for you to stick them out. And this actually looks real. I, I don't like when there is so much mesh here that pretty much you can see when you're moving your feet up and down you know, or your toes for that matter. So that's just like weird looking. There is not much adjustments you can do with this. This is pretty much like stuck in here. If this was waterproof that would make sense but it's not. 
So there was no extra benefits for this to be unable to be adjusted. That being said, you can really adjust this right here, the strings if you need to. I think it was just tied wrong. It should have been tied another way. So the string should have went from here out. And for some reason it didn't. It is coming from the inside. So this gives me a little extra level of uncomfortable, but that has nothing to do with the shoes. It's just the way the string came with. So you have to fix this all by yourself. So the walking task. They still feel like slippers. I don't like that. Do the jumping test. Actually, I'm surprised that the cushion itself is not as good as I expected it to be. So that's actually a fail here. I was expecting to have a much better cushion, but unfortunately, this does suffer from a lack of cushion right here. There was just not enough cushion over here, there was a, too much cushion on the bottom and just not enough on the front part. Other than that, they were comfortable, comfortable, they feel good, yup. They look stylish, they look cool, they do match my camel pants. I do kind of like those, but I can't really justify liking them too much. Maybe I'm not an Adidas fan or something, but this is just not the type of shoe that I would normally go for. Now, it all depends on the really on the price here. If you can get those for like 70 bucks, why not? 140, that is just way too steep for this thing. And because it's all man-made material, and there is no metal here. I don't justify anything over 70 paying for those shoes. I don't see anything that you really need to pay anything more than that. Or you can get the Ultra Boost a prior season for much cheaper. Not only they look better, I think they are better made than the Adidas. That is my opinion by the way. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you did enjoy this, the Geek Tech Show. There is going to be a link right down below where you can go ahead and buy your own pair of shoes directly from Amazon and help support my channel by subbing, watching, sharing and of course buying any shoes for me. Thank you have a great day. Hmm. I'm not too sure about those things. Yeah, kind of cool shoes but uh, I don't know.